Alright, so today we're going to talk about the Ballerina Bliss Cuffs. This is the yarn that I used for the pattern cuffs, and it's Ballerina Bliss, or Keep Calm and Be a Ballerina, and it's out of her Delight Decay. Today I'm going to use a different yarn, I'm going to use this um, Sakura, different colorway, same base. To show how to make these ballerina bliss cups, I'm going to do them two at a time. The pattern shows how to do them one at a time, or the pattern gives instructions for one at a time. But I'm going to go ahead and give a tutorial on how to do two at a time. So I've cast on all of the stitches for our first cuff. Um, there are 42 stitches here, and there are 21 picots. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, and two stitches on each picot. So now I'm just going to slide these down and I'm going to take my next ball of yarn and you could pull from the inside and the outside of the ball. I happen to have two different balls. All right. And then I'm going to go ahead and do the picot cast on for the next cuff. Then we'll join it together in the round. My first thing for casting these on is I need to do my one knit stitch through this beginning loop, whether it's a loop or a um, slip knot. And then I'm going to do two more cable cast on and the cable cast on you go in between the two stitches and then over the top of your needle pulling that through. Now that I have four stitches on my needle I'm going to go ahead and bind off two with just the simple basic bind off where I pass the slip stitch over. That was my first one this is my second one and now I have two stitches on my needle and one picot. Then I go in between these two stitches, cast on four more stitches, one, two, three, Four, bind off, knit one, knit two, pass the slip stitch over, do the second one, and put that back on my needle so that I can go in between and cast on my four more stitches. So as I look at this more closely, if I start casting on and something distracts me and I don't know how many I've cast on don't know where I'm at so I go through and there's this big gap where this pico is in the middle that stitch belongs with the pico I can tell that those stitches belong together for the pico, so then I can just count how many stitches I have. One, one, two, three. So now I know I need to go in between here and get one more stitch. Now I have four and I'm ready to bind off my two. All right, I'll go ahead and keep working this cast on until I have 21 more picots and 42 stitches, and then we'll talk about how we join in the round. For these to work, be worked two at a time. I hope you found value in this tutorial. If you have, please consider a one-time payment via PayPal or a regular subscription via Patreon. The links are down below 
and they are on the screen. Again, thank you for joining me. See you next time.